So have you just found out your email is on the dark web? Now look, we get it, it can feel unnerving, but while the dark web is indeed notorious for illegal activities, not every piece of data on there is used maliciously. However, taking the steps I'm about to walk you through ensures that you are proactive in protecting your information against potential threats. Okay, let's dive in. Number one, change passwords. Start by changing the password for your email account. Look, think of your password as a gatekeeper. It needs to be strong and unique. Use a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols that can easily be guessed. If you use the same password elsewhere, change those too. This prevents someone with one password from accessing all of your accounts. Okay, next, enable multi-factor authentication or MFA. MFA adds an extra layer of protection, and even if someone has your password, without the second piece of information, like a code sent to your phone or generated by an app, they can't access your account. It's, it's like having a second lock on your door with a different key. You need both keys to unlock the door. All right, next, check for compromised accounts. Use services like Have I Been Pooned? I know, it's an odd name, but you can go there to see if your email address appears in any known data breaches. This is a bit like checking the locks and windows of your digital home to ensure no one has broken in. Next, monitor your accounts. You've got to keep a close eye on your bank accounts, your credit card statements, and even your social media for any sign of unauthorized activity. Regular monitoring can help you spot and stop potential fraud early. Next, beware of phishing. Cyber criminals might try to use your compromised email to trick you into giving more information. The safest option is to be skeptical of emails asking for personal information and double check the sender's address. And if in doubt, give them a ring, but make sure you use a number that you get from somewhere other than the suspect email. And remember, legitimate companies won't ask you for sensitive information via email. Next update, security questions and recovery information. Make sure your security questions aren't easily guessable or publicly known. Also, regularly update your recovery information so you can always regain access to your accounts. This is like changing the codes to your safe regularly. Next, use different email addresses. Consider having separate email addresses for different purposes. One for social media, one for banking, etc. This way, if one is compromised, it doesn't put all of your activities at risk. It's like not putting all your eggs into one basket. Next, if necessary, contact the police. If you suspect your email was compromised due to illegal activity, report it to the appropriate authorities. This helps in the larger fight against cybercrime and it might help you recover or secure your information. And finally, Educate yourself and others. Stay informed about the latest in online security and share this knowledge with friends and family. By default, if you're watching this, you're likely part of the Cyber Heroes community and therefore more tuned in than most others. Ultimately, the more you know, the better you can protect yourself. Okay, with those steps in mind, it's still important to remember the context of the dark web. Just because your email address is on there, it doesn't mean it will be used maliciously. But it increases the risk and taking the steps I just shared ensures that you are proactive in protecting your information against potential threats. Whatever happens, if at any stage you think you may have been the victim of a cybercrime, you can go to help.cyberheroes.com.au and follow the five steps we share with you. And members of the Cyber Heroes community can call our cyber support team 24-7 on 1-800-CYBER-H or 1-800-292-374. Remember, we provide these tutorials because at some stage, every person on the planet is likely to become a victim of cybercrime and we don't want you to be one of them.